guys, I am filming on my vlog camera, which is kind of weird for my main channel. I don't know, I kind of want to switch up the content. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything on this channel, and that's because one, I'm still settling in to my place. This is my old house, by the way. This is back where I used to live with my mum. I'm actually about to go out for my birthday meal with my family. Like, we're going in about an hour or so. So, I thought I'd film a Q&A with you guys today. Um, and honestly, like, in my actual apartment, I haven't found a filming setup that I love yet. Um, <clears throat> I've just been lacking a little bit of inspiration. So, if you guys have been wondering why I haven't been filming, why there hasn't been, like, a massive... <laughs> in flux of videos that's basically why i have been loving to vlog as well i'm hoping to vlog a lot more i'm just kind of getting into the spring of things i feel like you can't force creativity and i've just decided that i'm not gonna force it anymore as much as i know that you guys really want to see really regular videos from me it's not gonna happen in every single part of my life a lot of influencers feel this way where it's really hard to create and to kind of stick to a quota everyone has these moments i used to upload three times a week i did that for like two years and i loved it at the time but if i did that now i would explode and i just wouldn't be able to cope basically so um yeah i hope that makes sense but i thought i would do a more relaxed video today please let me know down in the comments if you guys like a more relaxed kind of video on this channel i do more of these kind of style videos on my vlog channel definitely subscribe if you haven't already the content's been like really oh, just personal on there and I just love the content that's to come on there as well so please subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already and um and yeah pretty much we're just going to do a pretty chilled Q&A so on Instagram uh, my Instagram is makeup by Layla by the way um I asked you guys um to ask me questions that you really want to know and things that I've specific maybe that I've been avoiding so um, I'm kind of gonna be a little bit more personal in this one I am quite specific on the type of information that I like to share um, just because I don't like to throw my whole life online but I, I do understand that a lot of the things you guys ask me it's kind of like I shared so much of these parts of my life that, that I may as well just share them because yeah as long as it's done in a respectful way um, my life is online and I guess I kind of just have to have to deal with that i suppose so on the new instagram update you can ask questions on your story and then people can reply to it so that's basically where i ask these questions and that's basically what we're gonna do right now so the first question is why didn't you pursue a career in the makeup artist industry and it's a pretty simple answer to this one i honestly uh saw myself going into youtube far more i think i had like 10 thousand subscribers on youtube when i left my job at mac i was continuing on with um freelance clients and doing youtube at the same time and i just decided to stop doing freelance clients and to just jump straight into youtube and it was the best decision that i did leaving mac and um stopping freelancing allowed me to be able to upload three times a week i was able to grow my channel and to really put my heart and soul into it and i do not regret it at all it was like one of the most amazing portions of my life just being able to dedicate it to creating this channel and working so hard so yeah i just saw myself going more so into this and i can't see myself ever going back into the makeup artist industry just because as much as i love makeup um i don't think my calling was ever to do it on other people i did love it and i i wouldn't say i was, I was pretty good at it like i could do makeup pretty well um but it was just like my passion now has gone into other creative aspects i much more prefer photography, videography, um, art, like any type of physical art, like I'm obsessed with, I love drawing and design and stuff like that. So I much more see myself if I wasn't doing YouTube to be doing one of those things because they come so much higher above makeup that there's more passion in it for me. <laughs> oh, bless me. Have you ever wanted slash thought about leaving YouTube? Um... I can't say that I've ever seriously considered it like I'm like about to click leaving my channel but there have been moments of my life where I just have not been able to face uploading and there's a couple of reasons as to why I felt like I couldn't upload mental health was a massive one and that's something that I still struggle with to this day like the last three weeks where I haven't uploaded on this channel has been because nothing has fallen into place and to be honest with you like I would much rather um, upload something that I truly love not very frequently um, 
rather than upload content that just doesn't mean anything to me and to just feel empty whilst uploading it like that's just personally me so um yeah like there have been times where i really haven't felt like uploading and that's definitely happened i've never felt like deleting my channel or anything like that but there have been times where i feel like it's just been so overwhelming but my love for youtube is just so much higher than those feelings i think those feelings are a really normal a normal thing to have when you're creating for a living just because having to constantly be on a grind and have to create something different all the time it's a really it's so hard like i i didn't i didn't think it would be this hard but bear in mind i've been doing this for over four years now i think it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while since i've been doing this definitely the last year or so i haven't uploaded as much compared to previous years but um i read a quote and i'm gonna read it to you because i put it on my instagram story yesterday and it's so perfect destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful embrace the concept that rest recovery and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful and ultimately happy life um i think over the last year or two like year and a half or so i've really come to realize that and i've come to realize that just because um i'm constantly grinding and i'm constantly working yes i may have physical success but there may be no success within me i may feel really unfulfilled and empty and i think a lot of people that do this job or anything similar um can often feel that way and that's because you have this constant pressure to have to create and to create and to create I don't see myself leaving YouTube for any of those reasons. I do see myself uploading when it feels right to. And I know that a lot of people don't agree with that kind of work ethic. Um, but there's so many other things that I do that contribute to a successful life in my life. And so much of that doesn't have to do with myself. Will I be leaving anytime soon? I don't think I would be leaving YouTube anytime soon. I think I'm just gonna keep creating and being a happy creator over a overworked creator so there are a lot of relationship questions as you guys can imagine i did share my previous relationship on this channel and on my vlog channel so it's highly understandable that you guys would want to know a couple of things about what's going on with me and uh yeah let me just answer them and not ramble why did you guys break up be honest okay so obviously this question has been probably one of my most avoided questions that I haven't answered um, and it's been a really long time now so I think it's okay to answer it and I totally understand that you guys will want to know I'm not gonna go like so much into it to the point where you guys just know unnecessary information um, I was in that relationship for six and a half years I met him when I was 14 and we really were kids when we met and um we had a really really good relationship um for being kids but growing up into the relationship to being adults it we weren't compatible and i think we, we really didn't realize how incompatible we we actually were um i took it really really hard because i think especially with an experience i think you can tend to to build someone up in your mind or to almost expect someone to be this image of what you want but that person may not necessarily be what you're looking for and I think because of the longevity of the relationship um, I had this image of you know what I wanted my life to be like and I should never compromise that never um, but I really badly wanted Josh to be that person ultimately when it got to the last six months even to a year of our relationship um, I really wasn't happy um, and the kind of relationship that he wanted and the kind of relationships I wanted were not the same. He didn't see the same kind of future with me as I did. Like marriage was something that um, I really, really wanted and it wasn't so much something that he wanted so much. So it's just kind of those things that there's no, there's no much really getting over that. And I think because we were together from so young, it was really hard to determine these kind of things when choosing the person you're going to be with. I think I took a lot more than what I deserved. Um, I dealt with more than I should have, um, but he is not a bad person whatsoever. I truly believe that the person that you're supposed to be with, you're going to see eye to eye with the majority of things and then anything else like you can work on, but the basis of what you're heading towards, um, your end goal should be the same and that was just not the case with the both of us. The question that said, are you and the person in your past relationship still in contact, friends or not? And we're still in contact. And I would say like, yeah, we're friends, but not like, 
buddies <laughs> there's nothing uh no hard feelings there's nothing like i really feel like it's been a, a, a good it's good been a good amount of time oh there's also would you ever get back with josh and the answer to that question would be no just because our end goal is not the same and i think that we are better apart than we are together personally um but i honestly like wish 100 percent the best for him for him to find someone that um it just clicks with you know like it, you don't have to really fight to like make something feel okay like there was just far too much like forcing it, you shouldn't have to force it so many relationship questions hmm. a new relationship I had a lot of questions like that as well. What's your love life looking like? We've got quite a few questions like that. Um, I'm going to keep this one brief just because I have learned my mistakes from my last <laughs> relationship. I will never put new relationships or like the, the, you know, I hope the next one is the one that stays. Um, I will never put that as much onto social media as I did previously. Like, I won't hold back from like little things, but I wouldn't make it a YouTube relationship. That's just not personally what I would want to do anymore. Like I just couldn't, I couldn't see myself doing that. Um, so I'm gonna keep this brief. I am seeing someone, I am very happy. When it's time, it's time, you know? Like you can't, you can't rush these things, but I am seeing someone and I am with someone and I'm very happy um, with this person. So yes, but um, time, time will tell when it comes to like sharing these things, you know, but I guess that is the answer to, the, to that to that question. I suppose. How is your relationship with your parents? I get actually asked this more than you think, um, just because I know a lot of you guys, you see my mum a lot, um, but you don't see my dad. And I feel like that's a question that I guess I could answer. I've always been closer with my mum. I haven't had the best relationship with my dad and I do not, I, I was about to say I don't live with my dad, but I don't live with my mum now either. Um, before I moved out on my own, I didn't live with my dad. Um, that my mum and my dad aren't together and um, I'd never had the smoothest relationship with my dad. Um, hopefully, you know, it's something that can get better in time, but it's just, yeah, just didn't have the best, the best childhood. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this on this channel. Like, I, it feels so weird to be uploading a video like this on this channel. Like, it really feels weird. But let me know. Let me know. Your thoughts about other religions and cultures. My thoughts on other religions and cultures, I respect absolutely every single one of them. Just because I live in a different way doesn't mean I can't love and um, appreciate cultures and different religions. Um, so yeah, I have love for absolutely everyone, whether or not they believe in the same thing as I do. Why don't you post anything on Snapchat? That's a good question because I had a lot of people on Snapchat and I just stopped posting on there. Honestly, it was the update and I know they've fixed that now. Um, I don't know. I'll, you know what? I'm going to try and get better with posting on Snapchat just because Instagram's kind of weird. Like I, I do like Instagram, but nothing's going to beat those Snapchat filters. So I'm going to try and post on Snapchat more often and see if people still even follow me on there. Have you ever considered doing a weekly vlog? So I, I'm gonna say no, just because I like releasing vlogs when I've got something like so well put together. My aim on my vlog channel though is to have a vlog up every week or a video up on there every week. I'm getting into the, the mode of things, like I've been vlogging a lot this week and um, I'm gonna continue on vlogging today. Um, so yeah, like I've been doing a lot of vlogging but I feel like I need to roll with my creativity and I feel like if I set a date, I don't want it to feel like vlogging is a chore because vlogging and my vlog channel honestly feels so free to me. So I wouldn't want to put boundaries on that. So I feel like I've been rambling for a while. I don't know how long this Q&A is going to be, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit more relaxed than other videos. It feels more relaxed and I know I'm in my old bedroom. It feels kind of weird. If you like the format of this video and you would like to see more chilled videos like this where it's not lights cameras and just you know then be sure to comment down below and let me know um thank you so much for watching this video thank you for the people that sent in questions if you guys want to be involved in the next one then be sure to follow my instagram which is makeup by layla love you all so much and i will see you all next time bye